Pelé leaves uh, an incredible legacy for, uh, for football, a unique legacy. Pelé had, uh, I think, the gift uh, of uh, God, uh, a gift that very few people on earth have. And it's a gift to touch the hearts and the emotions of, uh, of people. The fact that uh, uh, so many people around the world, hundreds of millions, billions of people, like, like me who have never seen Pelé play, uh, remember him. I had, of course, the honor and the, and the luck to meet him personally as well, but I did not see him play. My father, who saw him, uh, was speaking to me about him. So I think that, uh, that uh, uh, the legacy that he leaves for what he did on the, on the field, I mean, he was the first in doing so many things that 99% of uh, players can only dream about and uh, the other 1% can do maybe one of those things that, that he was doing and he was the first of doing all these things. So this will remain in our hearts uh, forever and we need to make sure that uh, we and the world of football remembers Pelé forever as well. And for this reason, uh, of course, we pay tribute to him by being here. We pay tribute to him by uh, asking all the federations now to pay a minute of silence and tribute to Pelé. But we're also going to ask every country in the world to name one of their football stadiums uh, with the name of Pelé. Because in 50 years, in 100 years from now, when uh, children are asking who was Pelé, well, they need to remember him all over the world in a place where you score goals, where you feel emotions, in a stadium, in a football field where children, boys and girls uh, can play. And we need to make sure that this happens.